Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and today we are taking a look at an asset in the Unity Asset Store called Post Apocalyptic Survival Character. It is currently free, uh, looks like a nice quality asset, um, and the developer, Redbee, I have actually downloaded a few of their assets before, and they have always been of good quality. There are a couple of drawbacks to this particular asset, uh, not necessarily a bad thing, especially if um, you're quite well off and understand how Unity works and models and everything. But when you install the asset, get it in there, get it ready, it looks like this, a pink mess. Don't worry, it's not bad. It's easy to fix. It will take literally two seconds to fix. So if you go to the materials folder, select all your materials, and for now, just change it to a standard shader. It just goes back to how would you expect. Quality wise, there is a lot of detail on this and it does look really good. With some post-processing, it would look even better. It's, it's, there's a lot of detail on this and it, it does look absolutely fantastic, especially for a free model. Uh, quantity wise, there is what you'd expect within this asset. There's nothing like extra in there that, you know, th this is as good as it gets. Uh, it is just a character model. I wouldn't expect anything else in here. It is very versatile. Obviously, we've got all the materials here that we can play around with if we need to. We can change colors, deal with anything at all. L just quite literally anything. I mean, you'll always get these which are very, you know, awesome. But I mean, look at that. Just a couple of clicks, we've turned them into some kind of super mutant. That's awesome. Um, so there are no animations to speak of with this. However, you can attach animations you've gotten from Mixmo and it will function the exact same way. Price-wise, free. Really can't argue with that. Uh, the pre-made scene is literally just this scene we're in. Again, I wouldn't expect anything more. It's just a scene with our character in. Very useful if you're creating um, a post-apocalyptic style game. Uh, it is customizable. We can do many, many different things. We have all kinds of different variations of our guy, as we can see. And even just clicking that, I mean, look at that. That's really good. Look, it, it, it's absolutely fantastic. There's so much you can do because there's you, your level of detail as well. So you've got all of that as well. Uh, the package size is a little over 300 megabytes. It's not huge, but it's not small. So just keep that in mind if you're downloading this on like a meter connection or anything like that. So as always, I don't like to rate uh, assets. I like to either recommend them or not. And I would absolutely recommend this one to anyone who is making a um, post-apocalyptic or a survival game, anything like that, because this is just absolutely perfect. It's a high quality asset that you can use and it's free. What more could you want? So don't forget guys, click on the subscription button. Click on the bell icon as well to stay up to date with everything I upload with game development. Um, if you've used this asset, give me your thoughts in the comments. Or if you've got anything on the asset store yourself, let me know. Uh, I'd like to you know, review it because why not? We're all game developers here. This is what this is about. And I like to give you guys the best possible options for anything really. So guys, thank you very much for watching.